I'm Aldo Faisal and I'm a faculty member of the Department of Computing and the Department of Bioengineering at Imperial College London. I direct here a lab in neurotechnology and I'm the team leader for Team Imperial, the contribution of Imperial College London and its partners to the Cyberthon Bionic Olympics. It's a novel and unique event. So you know already about the Paralympics, but the Cyberthon goes beyond. It, it provides bionic and cybernetic technology that enables people with severe paralysis and amputation to participate in races that involve activities of daily life. I lost my arm back in 1982. It was a, an industrial accident. I'm a pilot in the powered arm race. There are six major tasks that we have to complete. The tasks start with a loop and wire race. We then move on to a, a setting a table race. So you, you pick up the crockery, the cutlery, you place them onto a tray, you then walk through a closed door, after opening it that is, and then lay the table out. We then have to screw a light bulb using the prosthetic hand. I'm competing in the rough terrain test and uh, the tilted car test, but there are many other obstacles as well that I would have to surpass. The team comprises a team of five pilots, athletes with severe disabilities who are competing in this, and much like in the Formula One, there's the pilot and then there's the pit crew, the engineers, the scientists uh, that translate the work that's done in my lab and in my colleagues' lab into applications for daily life for these technologies that we're going to see at the Cyberthon. To support this effort, we have partnered up with five key technology providers that are leaders in their respective product markets, and we are working with them together to develop technology that's not just cutting edge, beyond state of the art, but also applicable and usable by people in daily life. We see the Cyberthon as a transforming event where we will showcase the technology, inspire and empower our end users, athletes with severe disabilities, and show to the world what is possible and where the challenges are. So for us, it's just another step in our consisting commitments to rehabilitation technologies and neurotechnologies that will help people with severe disabilities to regain normalcy in their life. <laughs>